Hello everybody, this is the GoTo family. So today we are at Epcot, guys, here in Orlando, Florida. This video is going to be all about the drinks and snacks that you absolutely must try when you come here at Epcot. So right now we're just making our way to the central part of Epcot. So let's get started, guys. All right, guys, so our first stop on our drinks and snacks store is going to be Kringla Bakery Oak Cafe. Basically, it's right next to the Frozen Ever After, right? So we just decided to come here and just check out some of their uh, sweets, treats, and also some drinks uh, that they have. So I got right here, this is the Kringla, the, uh, this is the sweet almond version of uh, the Kringla, which is, I guess, a Norwegian pastry. I've never had one before. It looks like, kind of like, um, you know, almost like a raisin and almond kind of croissant or roll. So, let's try this out, guys. You can just see it here. There's some raisins inside. Mmm. This is nice. Mmm. The bread is just a little dense but I really like the flavors here. I can't taste those raisins very much. I don't think they load up the raisins in here, but it's sweet. Um, the bread, like I said, just a little dense. I, and I also think that it has some cinnamon flavors on there as well. You get the nice crunch from the almond. This is actually a nice uh, bre breakfast pastry, I guess. Quite like this. Really want to hit it out of the park. You come here, you get your Krigla, and you also take a sip of the you know, Norwegian, Irish kind of spiked coffee that they have here. I believe it's called the Kristoff frozen drink. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You can tell what it looks like. So I'm pretty sure you can tell what's in there. There's some coffee in there. There, it's some chocolate glaze inside that they put around before they put the coffee. There's some, I believe, some chocolate shavings on top. And then inside, this is an adult drink, beware. I believe it's Bailey's. I'm not 100% sure. I'll tell you when I taste it. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. It has Bailey's inside. It's pretty hard to mistake Bailey's, but that's definitely Bailey's. Mm. Honestly, it has coffee in it, but it doesn't really taste like it has coffee. It's really creamy. It has a really nice chocolatey Bailey's taste. I definitely recommend this, especially if you're coming to Epcot in the morning. It's a good wake me up. So it's kind of like an Irish coffee. Yeah, but Norwegian Irish coffee. <laughs> So we came to La Cava del Tequila here in the Mexican, I guess the Mexican pavilion or just Mexico. Pretty nice to come here, uh, you know, if it's really hot outside because it's nice and a little bit cooler in here as well. And I got a blood orange right here. So I don't know if you guys could see it, but it's more red <laughs> than it is orange. So let's try it out, guys. Mmm. Well, that's nice. It's a little strong from the tequila. You can definitely taste that lime juice, it adds a little bit of that freshness, that acidity. Also the salt on the outside, it's, it's, a, it's a little salty actually, it's also flavored. Not sure if it's tomato flavored, but it has a bit of a flavor to it as well. This is really nice, it's almost like a margarita I would say, but with a bit more kick or perhaps a little bit more flavor to it. So, you can get this at La Cava del Tequila, right here at the Mexico Pavilion, and this is stop number two on our snacks and drink store at Epcot. We're in the German Pavilion and we got the Werther's Original Caramel Popcorn. It's the best. So look at that. One thing you can really notice is when you open it, oh my God, the smell just kind of like evaporates into your nose. <laughs> So you can see it looks really fresh, freshly popped popcorn with caramel dipped on top or covered. Mm. If you've ever had Werther's original, you know how you want it like as a kid, I love to suck on it for like ever. It tastes exactly like that, but with popcorn. Like caramel, buttery taste. It's really, really good. Like, I would not come to Epcot without getting this. I think this place is called Steinhaus, where you can get your popcorn and just a few rooms in the same building. You can also get some drinks. So we got the German dessert wine. 
And here, you can see right here, it has just this beautiful deep purple color to it. it smells quite nice too. Let's try this out to wash down that Werther's Caramel Popcorn. Mm. This is kind of light. It's a little sweet. It's cold and refreshing. It's on the sweetest dessert wine I've had, but it's actually more on the refreshing side. Cheers, guys. All right, guys, so next stop on our drinks and snacks store here at Epcot, we are stopping in the Italy Pavilion, uh, I guess we can call it, and right at the entrance of the Italy Pavilion is this place called Enoteca Castello, and in this place, they'll make some drinks for you. Now, what we got today is the Limoncello Spritzer, and you can just see, this drink is beautiful, guys. This is going to be a sparkling uh, drink, I believe. Uh, this is, uh, the ingredients in it are pretty simple. So, limoncello, I believe, at the bottom. Then you're gonna have uh, some kind of like cherry syrup or cherry liquor, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I believe uh, this is going to be topped by Prosecco. Looks very nice and refreshing. Straight out. Wow, that's beautiful, just beautiful. I don't know how else to describe it, but that is really nice. It's nice and cold from the Prosecco, so it's going to be refreshing. You can just taste a little bit of that cherry uh, in there as well. I can't taste the limoncello too much, but I can definitely taste that it's in there at least a little bit uh, mixed with that cherry liquor. It just overall, just very nice fragrant uh, drink. It's like a Prosecco with a kick, with a spice to it. Definitely gonna wanna come here and try this. Now if you come here at Enoteca Castello, they also have a Chianti Classico wine made only for Disney parks, guys. So that's the only place uh, that you're gonna be able to get it even though it's made in the Chianti region of Italy. So that's kind of pretty cool as well. We, yeah, last time we, skipped we bought a souvenir bottle of that right here. Alright guys, so right now we're at the Japanese uh, pavilion, I guess, and we're at this Japanese stand right here. It's actually on the main road, so this is the stand. I can't really read the name because I think it's only in Japanese, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> we got the Nagori Sake. You can see here, this is like a fuzzy kind of sake, a cloudy sake, uh, maybe we can say. And we also got some sushi as well, so first let's try out the sake right here. Mmm. Oh wow, that is a cloudy sake. What I love about the cloudy sake, it just has this very fruity flavor. It's kind of like banana flavor uh, in there. It's really, really good, guys. I highly recommend that you get the Nagori sake if you come right here. I doubt that you'll be disappointed. This is really, really good. So we got the spicy tuna roll here uh, at the same spot now. I have one, uh, you know, one uh, chopstick because the other one is actually on the floor. <laughs> you can see it right there. It just fell on the floor, so sorry about that. This is not the proper way to eat sushi, but we're gonna do it anyway. So, all right, guys, let's try this. It's tuna. You got some cucumber. You got some chili in there as well. You can see it's a little red from the chili, and you got the spicy mayo on the other side. Let's try this out, guys. Mmm. Mm. They cook their, their sushi rice pretty well here. There's a certain way to cook your sushi rice. It has to be dense. It has to be kind of heavy. I, I believe that they get it right here. Their, their mayo is spicy. Um, basically, you got the tuna and you got the cucumber in there. The cucumber adds a little bit of crunch because the rest of the roll is quite soft. So if you're a fan of this, you can definitely check it out right here at the spot. So we have Salmon nigiri, sake they usually call it. We have uh, cooked shrimp nigiri, which is fully cooked as I just said. And we also have some uh, maguro, which is uh, tuna. So I'm gonna try the salmon, because salmon tends to be my favorite type of nigiri, and sashimi, which doesn't have rice underneath. But this one is nigiri, because it has rice underneath. It's quite surprising. It's really fresh. And honestly, the rice is done really well. And 
the salmon is fresh, which you wouldn't think Walt Disney World would be like the best sushi place on the planet, but it's actually pretty good. I really like it, and this is coming from someone that is a sushi lover. So we got the cherry flavored saved ice, and they started eating it, so I'm gonna taste it right now. Cold. Oh my and one thing, oh, it's so very cherry. Because <laughs> we got like cherry flavored. Yeah, and I love it. It's good. How do you guys eat? Oh, I don't know how you guys eat this so fast. Oh, sushi. Okay, so next up we're at the American Pavilion. This is the funnel cake shop. It says it right there, funnel cakes, guys. So we got our own funnel cake. Now this one is going to just have sugar. You can get sugar, or you can get sugar as well as ice cream. You can get different kinds of toppings. We just got the basic funnel cake right here guys now funnel cake one of my favorite things just absolutely unbelievable fried dough that is just sweet unbelievable there's nothing better really so let's try it out guys well this is still hot like the bread the the, the dough has just been taken out from the fryer it's still hot i think we need a fork for this for some reason we don't have one so we're gonna have to use our fingers but you can just whoo that is so so hot wow you can see i'm just ripping the dough is just falling apart because it's just so, so soft. And of course, it's uh, it's fried dough, and you can see the you know the powdered sugar on the top. So let's try this out, guys. Woo, it's still really, really hot. Mmm. Guys, they're gonna have a show. Mmm. Beautiful. It's soft. It's crunchy, it's bready, and it's sweet. This is like the perfect comfort food and the kids are just dying for it. They're just going crazy. Oh, hello. The princes are passing. I'm having funnel cake, the kids are having funnel cake. This is perfection right here. It's really good. The thing about funnel cake is kind of similar-ish to churros, I guess, in the sense that it's fried dough. So you want to have it when it's out of the fryer, just still really, really hot because that's when it's soft. It's crunchy um, because the breading is a little crunchy on the outside, but still soft on the inside. So it's just delicious, guys. It would have been pretty good with ice cream, but we already ate a lot just before, so I think it would have been over the top. And we got. Three more pavilions to go to. All right, guys, so right now we're in front of uh, Oasis Sweets and Sips. So you can come here and you can get some, you know, some desserts from Morocco. You can get some sweets like baklava. Uh, they also have some kataifi and some other things here as well. So you can get some traditional sweets. Now we're gonna skip this place because we had tons of sweets. But definitely, if you're in the mood for sweets and you're in the area, you can come right here and uh, you can check it out. They also have some drinks here as well. So right now we're just sitting here by the fountain but we went to this place called Le Vin de France and you can get here uh, some wines. Uh, Robin also got, you got champagne didn't you? Yes I did. You can have mine. <laughs> so we got wine and champagne guys. So I'm just gonna try it. This is a Tour de Ségur. It's a Bordeaux in saint a 2015. So it's a six year old vintage right now in 2001. I'm just gonna try this out guys. Mmm, that's just what you expect the Bordeaux to be. Good body, nice spices, nice kind of slightly spicy taste to it. Woody, oaksy I guess I should say. And just overall uh, good body and uh, good flavors on it. So uh, also pretty strong tannins. You can also get food here. So you have a place called Les Chefs de France. So you have the Chefs of France, you have Le Vin de France, the wines of France. You also have a bakery, you also have some, um, you know, you can get some ice cream, some sorbet here as well. So you can take your pick, guys, and you can just enjoy the sights of France right here at Epcot as you're enjoying your food or your drinks. And you can see right behind me we got the Beauty and the Beast right over there as well. Let's try this one. Which one is this one, by the way? The Moyen and Chandon Rosé. Okay, so we got the Moyen and Chandon. Moyen Chandon Rosé here, and uh, this is uh, the Rosé Champagne, basically. Let's try this one. Mm. 
Mmm, very nice. It's a champagne. It's a little on the dry side. It's not super fruity, but it is refreshing because it's still a little cold. So if you're looking for something more refreshing than just a glass of wine, definitely get a glass of this. It is quite good. Now this is another cool spot here that you should not miss, guys. This is the famous fish and chips at the England Pavilion here at Epcot, guys. Now, uh, we are not going to have this today just because of the way that our day is set up. I wish I had more time to do this, but definitely if you come here, they make awesome fish and chips. We're at the Rosing Crown. Sorry for this get up. It's starting to pour. Tropical Storm Elsa is about to pass, so we're prepared. I'm wearing my gear here. Surprisingly, it takes some effort to get it on. I think every adult I've seen puts it on backwards the first time, so beware the Mickey goes in the back. I got a mix of two beers. I came here in February and so the guy made this concoction. I thought it was pretty cool. I asked the guy he knew right away. He said it's a harp and a bass and they do this intermixing or something together. I don't know. <laughs> mm. Well, if you like beer, you're definitely going to like this. It has just like I don't know, I'm not very good at describing beer, but it's kind of like a red beer taste. Kind of like a traditional British beer taste. It ale. Could, an ale. I actually see this would be good at room temperature too, or just a little chilled. So it's like an ale. It's really good, and I do see what they say, how it makes this nice mix together. It just gives it this more vibrant taste. I don't know. It's just, it's really good. Definitely recommend coming here. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed our food and snack store here at Epcot, guys, we did a whole bunch of food items and drink items. It was a lot of drinks today, mainly because a lot of the shops is closed because of the raid. But I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Please give the video a big thumbs up. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, guys. And from the GoTo family right here in Orlando at Epcot, we will see you guys on the next one. Take care.